Today I will talk about the biggest mistakes you can make in Diablo Immortal and these are very easy to make. They are the biggest mistakes you can make because it takes a very long time to get these extra stats. Let's start with the first one. And it's not getting into your warband and not doing your raids two times every week. We have multiple reasons why this is very bad. Number one is Helicory level. You gain tons of combat rating from these bonus attributes. As you can see I am level 48 on this account because I missed some raids before and if you look at this one this is from a friend of mine she is at helicopter level 54 and she is getting almost 100 combat ratings more than me. Which is a huge difference even though our level difference is not that big. Unfortunately there are no catch up mechanics for these and I will never be able to catch her for example. That's why you need to make sure you are doing Helicory raids and you should do the Warband version of these raids because you will be able to upgrade your Ancestral stats. As you can see I am getting 587 combat rating from mine which is quite low because I didn't use this account for a couple of months. And once again there is no catch up mechanics to make up for the times you have missed. You will get these points from different Warband activities such as weekly raids and defense and if you really want to keep out you can spam purge the depths activity with your Warband members but most of the combat rating you are going to get is essentially coming from Helicopter raids. Since you get demonic remains from the raids as well which is used to upgrade your Helicopter level, missing raids is the worst mistake you can make in the long run. Basically people doing this since day one always going to have more combat rating than you and if you are a new player there is nothing you can do about it actually. I guess developers wanted to put a difference between old and new players with these things. I think they should offer some sort of a catch up mechanic to these two bonuses because returning and new players hitting a wall because they are not getting much combat rating from these. So if you are a new or returning player and if you are thinking about playing this game long term do not make the mistake of ignoring warbands and warband activities. And now we can talk about the second mistake. I am going to speak about the importance of secondary attributes. In some situations secondary stats are even more important than resonance itself. For example you need armor penetration stat to increase your critical hit damage. You need armor stat to reduce the damage you take. And if you have less armor than you need it actually increases the enemy's critical hit damages on you. Potency increases the duration of all harmful effects you apply which means most of the dot effects will stay longer on mobs if you have the required potency stat. Especially in PvE these secondary stats become even more important than resonance if you are below the required amount. So where is the mistake? Well I am not saying if you are not spending money on these you are making a mistake. But if you are missing out things that you can get normal gems for free then yes you are making a big mistake. For example get these aspirant keys from health trader every day. Run an Elder Rift 3 times if you have the buff that gives you blessed chest which contains an Esperant key and then go do Iban's little dungeon that gives you even more keys every day. Even more importantly to get these gems you need to do your hidden layers. It might be hard to find all of those hidden layers by yourself so always look for a group and search for layers together. You can even go to the lower hell difficulties to find layers they will still give you the normal gem rewards. You can get around 230 normal gems for free every week. Normal gems will be even more important in the future so don't miss out on the hidden layers. If you don't want to make the biggest mistakes in the game, do all your warband raids and activities for extra combat rating bonuses and cap out your weekly hidden layer rewards for secondary stat increases. If you do both of these you will be in a much better position than most of the players. And before I end this video I want to remind you that I am doing a giveaway and to join all you have to do is be subscribed and join my discord. And that's all for this one, take care.